Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and telling you my favorites. So jazz hands for you. One, two, three, four, hit. Okay, first thing I want to show you is my latest buy. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this and I have to tell you all, I found my new foundation. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the L'Oreal Paris 24 hour foundation and it is the Pro Matte. I love this. It was about $11, $12 I think at Walmart. It's a demi matte finish and it's actually great. I'm in the color 106 and this right here is the foundation that I put on at what time? 6.30 this morning. <laughs> okay, can you tell, I, no, I didn't crack, doesn't make me oily. Um, people say uh, if you have really dry skin, not to use this. I would say I have normal to dry skin and this stuff has been great. So if you're looking for a cheaper foundation that is really good to use, then please definitely check this out. This is my bad boy. I mean, if you've been watching my last videos, I've been using like the Maybelline Fit. Um, yeah, this is it. This is gonna be my new baby right here. Next, I have, speaking about Maybelline Fit, is Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I use it all the time, especially for days where I just kinda of don't wanna wear a lot of makeup. A color that I love. Um, it's a set and smooth, so it's definitely meant to like set your um, foundation down. I'm in the color two, uh, la, la, la. I'm in the color 240 Golden Beige. And it's just really good. It's just set and smooth for normal to dry skin. And um, yeah, if you like this, this was about, I think five, six bucks. If you want a powder, get this one. Let's see, as we're going on makeup, I'm gonna go next to something really simple and cheap. This one is the Wet n Wild Idle Eyes Cream Shadow Pencil. This is the color, okay, does it say a color on here? Yes, 130 Pixie. Yeah, the reason why I like this is because it's like a highlight. Look at that, you can see it right there. I don't even have to get a close up. Look at that, it's like just a really pretty color. When I'm in a rush especially, I would just put it under my eyebrows or like even um, lighten up my inner tear duct right here. I do that. But um, yeah, and it just works really easy and it's just really quick. I mean, you could probably use this to highlight on the cheekbones, like anywhere. And I mean, I wanna say this was less than $3. I don't even remember. Next time I remember all my prices for you guys. but. This is definitely worth a buy. I got it at the Walgreens. And yeah, definitely check this little bad boy out. It's definitely worth it. Another one that I have that's a favorite. This is the Studio Mac Tech. This is um, a foundation. Okay, so for all my dancers out there or anybody who sweat a lot or um, just need like a really good coverage, this is pretty darn good. I use this for special occasions, I mean, but I need a new one. Ah, okay, we're not gonna focus on that. But anyway, I'm in the color, let's see, NC37, and it's a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone, but I like it like that because I use it for these areas that get really oily, like pretty much a T-zone, and it just really sets really well. And this is the place where I sweat the most, like especially when I'm dancing. I just get really hot right here. And this bad boy, I can have my makeup on all day long with this. So if you're looking for something like that, I mean, as a dancer or like I said, anybody who performs under lights, singers, artists, whatever, or to someone who just wants to look fabulous, get this. This is something that I definitely will be buying again. On to the next, on, on to the next. This is my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. Now, I'm pretty like, okay, I'll use whatever eye, eyeliner anywhere because I pretty much wear black all the time. But this one is actually called Sabbath and it's like a bluish, I think like a, na like a navy blue, it's really dark. I don't know if I can see a little bit. You kind of see the color a little bit? Yeah, there it is. Okay, well, it's just an awesome color. I have it on my eyes right now, underneath, but I really like this. It gives it just a little bit of different tone. It's, I got it at Sephora, and I think it's definitely worth it. Will I get it again? Yes, because I really, really like this color. All right, uh, let's see. Next I have, and I talked about this before in a video, is the Shade and Light Contour Palette from Kat Von D. 
I really, really like this and I use this um, definitely for special occasions or for like some of the girls that I do makeup on. And I love it. As you can see, I'm already going through like the pan. Oh, you can't see because the lights. Ah. But there you go. I love these colors and um, I feel like I use pretty much, I can use, I can use all the colors. Um, you're probably like, how in the world can I use all these colors? Because this one will kind of like be a little more natural on me. Then the lightest, lightest one would be like an extra, so I really want like a bright highlight. And this one's pretty much like a banana powder color, which works great. And then I use all these depending how deep I want to go with my contour. I'll use this like in the upper inner part right here. This one's like a natural one I pretty much use like on a regular. And then that one is a little bit light. I just don't want to put too much on, but just a little bit. But it's great for different um, skin tones. It's definitely worth a buy. I really like this. Um, and you know, if, you, if this is too expensive for you, because I know Kat Von D stuff is a little bit pricey, um, I want to say this is a $30, $40 range. You can always get the, I think I put it away, because I just didn't use it. It's a six color palette by BH Cosmetics. That's always a favorite of mine. I'm like going crazy every day going to Urban Outfitters to see if they have another one, but it looks like I'm just gonna have to order online or see if they just sell these anywhere else because I cannot find it. But these two are like my loves of life. Let's see, a uh, brush. This is a Real Technique brush. I've been getting a lot of their brushes because I love them. I have, um, let's see, their Expert Face Brush. I have the, what is this, the, buffer, the buffering brush. And then I have another one. Let's see, this one is the hmm, Pointed Foundation Brush. I recently got this Real Technique, the, this silicone liner brush, but we're not gonna talk about that right now because I just got it and I'm not sure about it yet. But this one right here, the contour brush, I love it. That's what you can see, like, it's not clean. I know, sorry. Not sorry because I use this every day. And um, I love it because it just fits perfectly right in here and it's so soft and they're really affordable, really, 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 really affordable brushes. So if you are looking for brushes, um, I would definitely suggest these. They are great to use. So let's see, what else? Do I have anything else makeup wise? Yes, I do have one more. And this is the Wet n Wild Fergie Eyeliner. This is the gel eyeliner and this one is called Little Black Dress. It seems to be creamier, it seems not to get dry as fast. And I really like it and it was super cheap. I think it was like three, four bucks and it even came with a brush. Do I have a brush? Yes, I do. It's right here and it actually worked pretty well. Like I, you can use this brush with it and it just worked great. So if you want a good gel eyeliner, definitely get this. So yeah, so. One thing I did get that has nothing to do with makeup is rose gold. Ah, got the iPhone 6S and I really like this phone. I'm definitely not a techie techie person. I'm starting to become that way because my other half is all about technology and keeping me updated with all the stuff, but it's just beautiful. I love it here. Let me show you um, some new things that came with it. Security is now um, six numbers, doo -doo -doo. but I just use the fingerprint because it's easier, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see, it has 3D touch. So for example, if I want to go to my music, let's see if I can do this for you guys. Oh my goodness gracious. How to do it. There it goes. And it'll take you like, you can immediately just like play music and just search for options. So that's the 3D touch that it does. The iPhone 6S, the biggest thing for me and my other half is um, the camera. The camera goes up to 4K quality, people. Oh my god, I'm the worst at explaining this sh Okay, anyway, I love my rose gold. I love this color. I got the clear case because why get a rose gold phone and not even show off the color? Okay. Oh, the best part. You go to your camera. You can take a picture. Okay, you see that right there? The little yellow? It's live. So, and the camera and the selfie camera is a lot better. So, girls... Or maybe some guys get this, take a selfie. So let's see, if I'm gonna move around a lot, or maybe just not move, just take a picture. What it does is when you play it back, it shows you the couple seconds before and after. So see? See, isn't that cool? And then so if I send it, 
in a message, they'll see that exact thing. So it's a cool feature. Uh, get the iPhone success. Okay, last thing we're gonna talk about, and this is something that I'm going to warn you about more than tell you is my favorite. Recently, my hair has been all pink, and it lasted for a week. Yeah. So I got rid of the box, but I do have the bottle. So the logo looks like this, okay? And I got the rose gold color. <laughs> rose gold, you know? I liked the way my hair looked after it came out. I thought it was beautiful. I loved it. Uh, you can go to my Instagram, my Facebook. You'll see it. I love the color, but I was pretty um, sad that the color did not last more than one wash. Now, if you see what it's doing, which is really weird, is, is in spots now, like... I mean, I don't get it, but it's just some random spots, which is kind of cool, you know, I, I'm down with anything. So it looks, the, the pink was gorgeous. I'll put up a picture right here, okay? And I love the color, but it just didn't freaking last long. So that was kind of a bummer because I think it's been like 26 bucks, 27 on getting everything, and it didn't even last a week. I tried to buy two boxes to use on all this hair, and it didn't last long. So is the product and the color come out good? Yes. Is it good for temporary? Yes. Temporary meaning until next time you wash it. And maybe you'll get some spots left like, oh no, oh no. But yeah, so that might be the one that is definitely maybe a girl buy. Let's just keep it moving. Will I buy it again? No, I'm gonna say girl, buy, buy, okay? Yay, I did my first favorites video. Boom, mm, 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 mm. Subscribe, like, share, all that jazz. Um, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers, which I'm really close. And then the next number is 200, of course. The goal is for me to get 500 at some point <laughs> because I uh, would like to get my own URL. And I need 500 subscribers to do that. Much love to you guys. God bless. And uh, deuces.